Hello and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthrough. We are here once again with Imperial Assault. This is the last mission for the Return to Hoth campaign called Our Last Hope. Our heroes have made it through the ship and they are now ready to go after Soren. Now, as you can tell that I already have this all kind of set up and ready to go, is this is my fourth time dealing with technical issues, mostly short between the keyboard and the chair. And what I have done is everyone's kind of set up, ready to go. So we will be going ahead and let's go. Our last hope, Imperials race through the corridors as they prepare their invasion, slowly, methodically, you evade these forces and climb towards the bridge. Continue. After several close calls, you reach the bridge through the open door and you overhear an Imperial transmission. First division deployed. Second landing now, sir. A trooper's voice crackles. Out of spare time to spare. You ambush a pair of stormtroopers standing guards and stride into Soren's command center. Place tiles. Continue. The secluded mountain village of Haven is clearly and threateningly visible over the destroyer's command panels. Place three terminals. Continue. A crate of supplies sits just inside Soren's personal command chamber. Place a crate. Oh, are we surprised? An officer maintains the Star Destroyer's steady course toward Haven. Deploy an Imperial officer. Regular. Assign it a color. Blue. A second officer appears to be monitoring the ship's diagnostics. Deploy another. Gray. General Soren stands with his hands clasped behind his back, admiring the view of a coming victory. Deploy General Soren. Suddenly alarm blares. You turn around to find one of the guards has crawled to an alert station. General Soren whips around. His surprise melts hatred almost instantly. Lock down the bridge. He yells, security, place three doors. These doors are locked. Nearby security personnel rush to their general's defense. Any guesses what they are? Oh, I'm surprised. Deploy storm snow troopers. Wow, that's, that's different. So we have snow troopers. Normally this has been Vader's finest, so I'm curious what you're going to get here. And we still have the elite probe droid. Continue. The guards lock all the exits from the bridge to prevent your escape. You're surrounded, but the ship's controls are finally within reach. Deploy the rebels. <clears throat> Continue. We have to destroy all the three terminals. So who goes first? And the answer is Fen. Move a number of spaces up to your speed and become focused. While defending, you are focused. Apply plus one to the defense results. Exhaust this card at the start of your activation. Choose yourself or a friendly figure within three spaces. Gain two movement points. So we're going to go on ahead and use that one right off the bat. And that's going to go to ourselves. We're going to go one, two. So we are then going to use superior positioning. Take one stray. Move spaces equal to your speed and become focused. One, two. And that's all we're going to move. And we will go on ahead and turn to shoot. We are also focused. And we're going to go on ahead and shoot number th one. So the good news is we're also going to take our Havoc shot. 
and we have with our rifle a blue and a green versus a black. And we have the over under and the plasma cell. Didn't change it. I like that. So that's two. Minus one is one. That goes on to number one. And then we have this one, which we will take a plus two. Oh, and we become focused. And for those of you, nope, good, we were fine. So that's another plus two damage. One, two, three, four, five. And everybody gains one damage. So the good news is that was actually pretty darn good. Exhaust this card when you declare an attack. Target and figure within three spaces apply a plus two. We will use trench fire in just a moment. We no longer have our extra green die. And our second person we're going to attack is right here. And we have a white versus a blue and a green. We will exhaust Trench Fighter, which does two right off the bat. And he doesn't do anything, and this guy is gone. Blue is gone. Perfect. We then go on ahead and we recover one strain. And that is the end of his turn. And we go on ahead and... And he has a plus one defense. Which was a defense. We'll put this on here just so that we remember. Right? Plus one or plus two? Plus one. So we have plus one defense, and we in Fen's turn. Up to your movement space, bump, bump. Okay, yeah, we did everything. General Soren is preoccupied with a siege of Haven. Haven's defenses have been damaged. Another Imperial figure can perform an attack, attacks the healthy rebel who has suffered the most, which is nobody. Motivate another, ready non-focused imperial figure becomes focused so who do we want to become focused so i guess we're gonna do one two three four five one two three he becomes focused and i guess we're going to do one two three four he's not going to do an attack He's too far away. One, two. So he will go on ahead and shoot at Finn. Makes the most amount of sense. Finn has a black, blue, and a green. And that was a nice attack, but a better defense. Finn takes only one damage. Soren's turn is over. Okay. We are going to do Gideon. Gideon is going to order one, two, three, her to do that. He has a master stroke. Exhaust this card after you resolve a command. You may perform an additional command without using an action or suffering a. So 
he is going to have her attack number three there, who has one damage. She will go on ahead and... Hmm. Hmm. No, she has to be that one. So she is going to use her DL44 as compared to the Vibro Knife. She's going to use the Vibro Knife. Gotta be good, gotta be good. Not good, not good at all. Okay, so we have two. We have a Pierce of two, so that's four. He takes one damage. Bleeder plus one, bleeder plus one. We're gonna do the plus one. Oh, and that was on three. Okay, that is, oh, and he has one more action. And he will, he's gonna use, he's gonna strain and use command again. And command her to hit. Oh, wrong die. Okay, so. One, pierce two, plus one is fortunately only four. And he can do it again with master stroke. Finally. Well, that's a three, four, and he's out. Which is actually a good thing, because I did not want that focus to come in. Now, she gets to use when an adjacent hostile figure is defeated to interrupt or perform attack using that figure's attack pull. The attack gains a plus two accuracy and plus one damage. So we're going to go on ahead and Shoot number two. Yes. And that's going to be a blue and a green for her DL44. Oh, blue and a yellow, excuse me. For DL44. And we definitely have accuracy. We have two damage minus two damage. And we also get a plus two, plus one. That's three, four, five. Already has one done, that's six. Unfortunately, that is not adjacent to. Otherwise, I'd do it again. <laughs> and that is the end of Gideon's turn. I love having those interrupts. Men of the Swap Live. Before this group action, each Imperial figure within two spaces of one or more figures in the group recovers one health. So he is not within two spaces. Good news. This figure recovers two right off the bat. Still at three. Move three to attack the rebel that has suffered the least. Um, odd even. And we have a blue-green versus a black. Oh, no, that is not good. That'll be four damage right off the bat. Mm. 
but we have plus three health to exhaust this card while defending. Apply a plus one. So that's only three, which is a total of four. I should have used it beforehand, but that's okay. And move two to reposition three. Move six to one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, there we go. Okay, finish. Okay, so she is one, two away with we have reach. There we go. Okay, so we also have dancing weapon. For Okay, so we're gonna use dancing weapon with one strain. She will perform a melee attack using a I'm sorry, a ranged attack using a melee weapon, add one blue die to the attack pool and gain. So she uses the force pike, which has the shock emitter. Apply plus one speed to hero, ignore additional movement. Okay, right, good. And I wish we were next to because I do a snap kick. Okay, so we have a blue. I'm sorry, yellow, yellow, red versus a black. We have range. Accuracy. And that is out. So we do one damage plus two or a stun. We're going to do three damage total. One, two, three, and stun. Oh, automatically stunned. Because we have three. Perfect. Stunned. Okay, perfect. So we will go on ahead and strain to move one. Just to here, we are going to use the force pike, and then we will use a snap kick if we need to. So the force pike, red. We will use a precise strike because I want this guy out. Yeah, that's right. It doesn't get a, because we're using precise strike. So that is one, two, three, four, plus five, six. We don't even have to use snap. Wow, I should have done that one first. Oh well. Okay, so our droid is gone. And we will go on ahead and oh, what else can, can she do anything else? No, she cannot. Before activation, the highest cost Imperial figure that isn't already focused becomes focused. Move three to attack Finn. Move six to reposition five. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. That's all he's going to be able to read. Okay. 
move down here. That's the only thing that makes sense. Don't know why that makes sense, but somehow or another it does. And that is cover two. He has no da damage finish. Okay, so she has a speed gen. Verna, Verna, not gen. Verna has a speed of three. One, two, three. She will take a sh pock shot at... She will, however, take one strain to move one more because we're going to want to be adjacent to. Okay, so she has point blank. I forgot about that. He has one less. Okay, we're just going to go on ahead and when you Declare an attack with a pistol targeting an adjacent figure. You may replace one die in the attack pool with a red one. So we have a blue and a yellow, and I will do a blue and a red. No. Blue and yellow versus a white. Wasn't necessarily as good as I had hoped, but does get us plus two for a total of three damage. And he's out. That's the end of her turn. Round two. Okay, we are going to... We're going to get some people closer. We're going to get this moving in the right direction. Okay, first of all, Gideon is going to move four. One, two, three. Four. He is then going to rest. Get rid of his strain because I'm going to be needing that again. That's the end of Gideon's turn. Okay, Sorn. Oh, that one guy's still there. And he's focused. And only has two damage. So going to attack Finn. Blue and green versus black. Come on, Finn. Definitely has accuracy. Does two. That's wiped out. Here's two. Yep, his lemon armor has not been restored yet. Okay, that's all that he can do. Finish. Okay, Finn is going to move. One. Take a strain for one. One, two. Going to shoot. Black, blue, green. We're not going to need to use Havoc Shot. Everything here is refreshed. We'll use Trench Fighter just to be sure. And we'll one, two, three gets rid of two.
Definitely has accuracy. Has a Pierce one automatically with a plasma cell. So that's two. And a plus two to the attack results is six. And that storm snow trooper is out. There we go. And he is actually going to rest. Yeah, because there's nothing he can do. He's not going to be good on the computer. He's just going to go on ahead and rest at this point. That gets rid of his two strain. We will use a med pack thing. Let's see what we have. Med pack. And one, two, three, four, five. And as a reminder, you do not get to have the extra endurance. If you only had two, you cannot use that to heal on Legends of the Alliance. That's just how that one works. Okay, so that's the end of Fen's turn. We're going to move five over to here. Plus, she has an extra one. Art of Movement, plus one. And she's going to rest and get rid of her strain. I hate doing this. I hate resting and get rid of strain. And that ends her turn. And she'll take one strain to move here to work on the computer. And we, let's see what we get. Okay, so to want to bypass security, we have a blue and a red. A blue and a red for insight. Or smosh it, a blue and a red also. That is like our worst person to do this. We're going to search the workstation. We get one. Imperial password on a data pad, but you need a clue, another clue to disable the panel. Continue. She is not going to do anything. She's going to get rid of her strain. Oh, that's, I have a feeling this is a very, very bad decision. Round three. Okay, I think the smart move here is going to be Diala. She's going to move one, two, three, four. That puts her adjacent. She still has one move, two movement spots left. And she's going to try insight again and we have blue green yellow just the one. Oh, hold it after a create token you play in an area attack plus two plus two okay weapons crash shot grenade adrenal stand Oh, I thought there was something here that helps. No. Okay, so we just have, unfortunately, one. Using the password and login instructions from a nearby data pad, you easily disable the panel. Discard the panel. There's one out. Open the door. 
continue. Our last hope. As security fails, the lights flicker off and the entire bridge rumbles. You catch a stuttered glimpses of the general as emergency lights strobe through the shuttering bridge. Stop those rebels! Soren shouts as he disappears into the shadows. Remove General Soren from the map. Continue. Emergency lights glint off Polish Brant. Uh, bronze chassis. The droid struggles to keep balance as the bridge. Deploy HK assassin droids. One and two. Each figure has become weakened. You regret that Soren escaped through your fingers, but as Haven looms closer, you have no time to waste. Disable the other two terminals. Okay, I was just looking at the line of sight rules and just dawned on me it doesn't matter because she only has one movement point. So she can't do anything. And that means the assassination droid is going to go. Versatile weapon, Overwatch. The start of the group's activation, the closest rebel in the line of sight of the figure, this group tests insight. If it does not pass, it suffers one damage and becomes weakened. Okay, so both of these are going to have to pass insight, figuring that it's not going to go after both of them. So we have a green and a blue. We pass. And a red and a blue. And we don't pass. She suffers one damage. If Erna suffers a damage, she becomes weakened. Okay, so we're going to go on ahead and attack the healthy hero rebel that has suffered the least damage. Apply a plus one, a plus two accuracy to the results. So that is going to be Finn for number one. And So they're going to attack Finn, and we have a black, blue, blue, yellow. Definitely has accuracy without any problems. This is out. Bummer. Okay, so two to Finn. This means that number two, I'm going to do this one right now, is going to attack Berna. Okay, so we have this is completely out. All that's left is this, which will be a plus one. So good news for Verna got out of that pretty easily. And now they're going to do their attack the healthiest rebel that has suffered the least 
boost activation of the closest rebel in the line of sight. The figure may test if it does not pass. Oh, hey, it's only one. It's only one. So she is not weakened, but still suffers the one damage because that's actually an attack from one, attack from two, and then the first one will move the move three to attack the rebel that has suffered the least, which will be Verna. Wow, this thinks they get two. Okay, Verna, come on. Need a good roll. Oh, that is not a good roll. So that's the, this is number one's, and I'm not doing this as well as I should. Okay, so they also discard one of those. So they only have two, plus one, plus one. So it only does one damage to Verna. Then the second, then the second one will attack Finn. One tooth easily has accuracy. So both of these are gone. That's good. So that's one, two, three, four damage. That's five to Finn. Total. Six total to Finn. Minus the one for the laminate armor. Laminate armor is now exhausted. This actually works out really well. And now their weakened is gone. And time for. Oh, I wish they were next to each other for havoc shots. Okay, we're going to use command with Gideon. Going to command because if not, oh, then she becomes out of range. So he's going to go on ahead and command Fen. Oh, we got his Fen stuff out right here. Good. Okay, so he's going to go on ahead and attack with a blue and a green against a uh, just one black. I was afraid there's going to be two blacks or something. We are going to use trench. That's been exhausted. So we get a two plus two or a pierce two, whichever way you want to take a look at that. So the first one takes two damage. Gideon will use Master Stroke. Oh, I shouldn't have done it the second time because that's an exhaust card. So that's exhausted. Okay. So we get a Pierce 2 plus 2. That's going to be a one total to number three. Or, yeah. I'll be a bla uh, plus two and a blast, so plus one. So that's a total of three. And that is the end. And Gideon now has one more turn. And he will use command again to allow for the interrupt. Oops, drop the blue die. Okay, so that's, was a two. So that's out and we get three damage. Oh, look at that. That's the first one's out. Nice. He's out. Total of six. And that ends his turn and that ends Gideon's turn. Oh, finish. End 
Gideon's turn. Okay. Can I do a range of four? I bet you I can. We are going to take a movement of one. And we're going to go on ahead and shoot. That was a strained movement of one. Okay, so we have plus two. Uh, three, one, two, three. Good thing I took that movement. So that will be a plus two, three, four, so three damage to number two. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay, we have accuracy, but look at that. It, we That is a miss. That is a bummer. I forgot to use superior positioning. But I'm going to revert and do use the tactical movement and give the movement here to Diala. So that's the end of his turn. He does regain one. And... Oh, going to give it to Jen. I'm sorry. One, two. So that's why she do he does that. This comes over back over here. Point blank shot when you use a pistol. Deplete this card when you declare an attack. Okay, we are going to deplete this card. Remove one die from the dice pool. And use when an adjacent hostile figure is defeated. Okay, good. Create opening, exhaust this card while hostile figure is adjacent to you. Applying a, okay. So we're gonna see if we need to use any of this. So we have a blue and a green against nothing. One, two, three, four, that's enough to take care of this one. He is out. Soren is still here. So she has one more action to take and she is actually going to open the crate. You gain two med packs. Oh, continue. That's it? I'm kind of disappointed here. Minor peril. Heaven looms through the viewport. You think of the innocents who might suffer simply for offering you refuge. Your stomach turns. Each hero suffers one strain for each of his activation portraits. Translation, if you are playing two, everyone suffers two. But now we just suffer one. Continue. Round four. Okay, first of all, he's out. Diala is going to move one, two, three. Search. We're going to investigate. She has a blue, a green, and a yellow. Two. Using a password and log instructions from a nearby data pad, you easily disable this. Discard this terminal. Open all doors. Continue. The Star Destroyer is definitely list listing now you focus on taking the ship down while choosing to ignore the fact that you're still in it objective updated disable the last terminal continue oh 
Okay, so we are going So she's used both of her activations. I'm um, not too sure what she can do at this point, and I don't. And I believe the correct answer is nothing. So that is the end of Diala's turn. One, two. Okay, so he is going to order to take a mo use command. No. One, two, three, four. Okay, so he's going to move. Oh, oh. Huh. Okay, so he, okay, he's going to move. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's his first activation. His second activation. Is going to use command. It means he is maxed out on endurance. It is going to order to move one, two, three, four, and then we're going to use master stroke, which has been done and now is also again exhausted. And he's going to move here. Yep, that's that. Okay, then we're going to go on ahead and do our... Actually, he's going to end up moving here. And the reason for moving here is in case someone needs to get to here. So we are going to search the workstation, blue-green. And we get a one. That's right. Nearby data pad terminal password, but you need another clue to disable the panel. So we're going to take a second activation. Do it again. And we get none. Confirm. You still need another clue. Okay, that is why I moved him where I did. Okay, so this then leaves. Who's going to move? One, two, three. That's exactly why I left that spot open. And she's going to try this again. And her insight is a blue and a red. And she gets nothing. Major peril. The deck shutters begin to stumble. Each arrow suffers one damage. Four. Continue. You regain your footing. Glance at the bridges. Perils. The Star Destroyer's primary weapon is now armed. Take the ship down now, or Haven will be destroyed. Continue. Finn is going to go first. Blue and the green. Come on, Finn. One. Using the password and login interactions from the nearby data pad, you easily disable the, the panel. Discard the terminal. Continue. The entire bridge flickers and goes dark. The ever-present hum of engine dulls. Data pad slides on the desk and the ship lifts aimlessly and the floor drops beneath your feet. You hopelessly brace for impact at the snow-capped mountains and of Ison. Reach up to pierce the plumbing team star destroyer remove all figures from the map continue oh, 
<laughs> I like that. That's a cool little animation. That's kind of funny. This is the Chipmunk Gamer. This is where we're going to end this episode. Take a look to your right for the next episode. When it's done, thank you. Please like and subscribe and have an absolutely great day.